Good morning, everyone. I'm Joanna Shields. I'm CEO of Benevolent AI, and I'm delighted to be here today at the JP Morgan Conference. I've been leading the company now for the past four years, and I'm excited to share our progress with you. Benevolent AI operates at the forefront of the emerging AI drug discovery sector. We are pioneering a fundamentally differentiated approach that is scientifically and commercially validated. We have a track record of success as evidenced by the fact that our AI platform has generated every drug program in our portfolio. We have assembled a world-class leadership team with unparalleled expertise across artificial intelligence, science, engineering and product development, transformational leadership and financial markets. And we have an outstanding board led by our chair, Dr. Francois Nader, a veteran biopharma industry executive who also serves on the board of Moderna and is chairman of Acceleron. Drug discovery is at an inflection point and AI and machine learning are increasingly a strategic focus for pharma companies looking to improve their success rates. I will share with you today how Benevolent AI is tracking, is tackling this in, the intractable problems of drug discovery, including the cost, failure rates and time to market and how the work we are doing can be transformational for millions of patients suffering from diseases that have no effective treatment. If you could go to the next slide, please. One of the primary reasons drugs fail in the clinic is that the wrong target is selected from the outset. If the hypothesis is flawed, later stage failures are inevitable. At Benevolent, we combined advanced AI and machine learning with cutting edge science to de-risk drug development. We have developed a hypothesis-driven approach that focuses on making better decisions in the early stages of drug discovery, leading to more efficacious drugs down the line. Our platform augments the scientific discovery process and is built with scientists for scientists. We have created AI and machine learning tools that map complex diseases in unprecedented detail to unearth knowledge and connections that lead to novel discoveries. This approach is game-changing to understanding complex multifactorial diseases where the underlying mechanisms are misunderstood. If you go to the next slide, please. To accomplish this, we have assembled a world-class team of over 300 scientists and technologists, nearly half of whom hold PhDs or other advanced qualifications. And today, the benevolent platform is fully operational scientifically validated and producing results. Our discovery platform is uniquely powerful as it is comprehensive and disease agnostic. Whatever therapy area we explore, we can identify novel targets to drug. And we have a track record of success. Our in-house drug pipeline consists of over 20 platform generated drug programs in disease areas that affect millions worldwide. Our most advanced is an atopic dermatitis asset in phase one clinical development. And we have a novel asset for ulcerative colitis in IND enabling studies. I will talk more about our exciting pipeline shortly. And we also have outstanding partnerships with AstraZeneca and Eli Lilly, which validate our scientific leadership, give us the potential to scale our platform and provide strong financial success. Our business model is diversified across multiple therapeutic areas and development strategies, which increases our value creation opportunities. If you go to the next slide, please. Now let's focus on what makes Benevolent AI's approach unique. Today, biomedical data and research is growing exponentially, and it is impossible for scientists to effectively process, mine, and exploit the potential of this ever-growing corpus of information. At Benevolent, we use AI and machine learning to make biomedical data accessible and useful for scientific inquiry, enabling scientists to ask and answer complex biological questions and better frame hypotheses to understand complex multifactorial diseases. All of our AI and machine learning models and workflows are supported by our proprietary knowledge graph which integrates biomedical data, research, and literature at scale. Our graph ingests data from scientific research, patents, genetics, chemistry, clinical trials, and much more. It is continuously updated with proprietary insights and new knowledge 
generated from our experiments and AI models. This approach does not rely on any one data type or experimental methodology. We purposely aim to be more ambitious and comprehensive. We have developed AI methods that operate on top of our knowledge graph to extract and infer unique biological insights entirely proprietary to benevolent AI. These insights give our scientists a unique view into disease biology and enable them to identify novel targets, which we rapidly test and validate, reducing development time, cost, and failure rates. Next slide, please. Benevolent has developed an AI augmented hypothesis driven drug discovery platform that generates novel targets at scale. Our platform is built upon four development pillars. Starting with our knowledge foundations, the graph serves as a data engine for our end to end platform and drug discovery programs. We have developed a unique approach to target identification. Our tools enable scientists to run in silico experiments in real time, yielding results that guide the discovery process and ultimately identify novel biology. Scientists can test multiple hypotheses in an experimental loop, generating results that better inform decisions downstream, meaning that they can select the targets most likely to succeed in treating a disease. We factor in precision medicine at the earliest stages of drug discovery, leveraging multimodal patient and endotype specific data. Our precision medicine workflows empower drug discoverers to identify patient subgroups that will likely respond to a particular treatment and inform the design of clinical trials. We then focus on optimizing molecular design. Our AI tools allow chemists to identify high quality clinical candidates in fewer iterations. It allows them to score and rapidly triage millions of compounds following complex molecular profiles defined by our drug discoverers, and ultimately to design more effective drugs in fewer cycles. Next slide, please. We have a fully equipped wet lab in Cambridge in the UK with biology, chemistry, CMC, DMPK, and we also have in-house CRISPR, RNA-seq, and human iPSC capabilities. Experimental data from our lab and disease-relevant expression data are integrated back into our knowledge graph to further enrich the graph's representation of human biology. If you go to the next slide, please. All of this has resulted in the development of a rich pipeline that illustrates the capacity of our data-driven disease agnostic approach. Our platform identifies high quality biological targets irrespective of the disease. That coupled with our molecular design capabilities has allowed us to rapidly build a portfolio of drug candidates with substantial potential market value. We currently have programs in oncology, neurodegenerative diseases, fibrotic, metabolic, and inflammatory conditions, and much more. To highlight two examples, we have just completed the safety cohort of our phase 1b trial for atopic dermatitis, and the efficacy study will read out mid this year. Our novel ulcerative colitis drug has now entered preclinical studies, and we expect to dose our first patients in early 2023. Based on our current pipeline, we estimate that we have a potential to benefit 263 million patients globally and access a potential addressable market of more than 30 billion. Next slide, please. We operate a flexible drug development model with three routes to value creation. First, we have our in-house track with assets we discover, develop, and intend to commercialize ourselves. Second, we have an out-licensing track for assets we discover and for which we conduct early preclinical development, but choose to partner in exchange for upfront, milestone, and royalty payments from the licensee. And finally, we have the capacity to secure additional platform collaborations, like our partnership with AstraZeneca, for which we scale our development environment. These collaborations bring economic benefits from upfront payments, research funding, development and commercial milestones, as well as royalties. Next slide, please. The benevolent platform is a highly recurrent engine for identifying novel drug candidates. In 2021, excluding early discovery, 
Our portfolio included 12 named drug programs, and we expect to add six in 2022. From 2024 onwards, our target is to deliver five or more INDs every year, with our first commercial drug launches towards the end of the decade. Next slide, please. Turning now to AstraZeneca, a key strategic partner and investor in benevolent AI. Our multi-year collaboration has grown from strength to strength. The initial partnership was focused on identifying novel targets for chronic kidney disease and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. In 2021, we had two novel targets selected by AstraZeneca for entry into their portfolio. This week, we are excited to announce that we have expanded this collaboration into two new disease areas, systemic lupus and heart failure. The economics of these agreements include upfront payments and benevolent AI retains upside in milestones and royalties as drugs move through to clinical development. Next slide, please. Another significant partnership we have developed is with Eli Lilly. In February 2020, in the early stages of the pandemic, we published in The Lancet a drug repurposing hypothesis for the treatment of COVID-19. In just 48 hours, our research team identified an existing drug, baricitinib, owned by Eli Lilly and marketed for rheumatoid arthritis. Our thesis, later validated in large-scale clinical trials, was that in addition to its anti-inflammatory properties, this drug had unknown antiviral effects that meant it could inhibit viral entry into cells. In November, 2020, we were proven correct. And just nine months after our discovery, the drug received emergency use authorization from the FDA. And following a second placebo-controlled trial run by Eli Lilly, published results showed that baricitinib reduced mortality in hospitalized patients by 38%. To have identified this drug so quickly and to have identified its off-target effects is a testament to the power of our platform. Moreover, out of more than 80 known AI-driven attempts to repurpose drugs for COVID-19, we know of no other that has received clinical approval. And I'm delighted that following the validation of our discovery, Eli Lilly chose to invest in benevolent AI. Next slide, please. In 2022 and 23, we expect multiple value inflection points. For Ben 2293, our atopic dermatitis asset, clinical data is expected by the middle of 2022, at which point we will be ready to outlicense this asset. And Ben 8744, our novel ulcerative colitis drug has entered preclinical studies and we expect to dose our first patients in early 2023. The AZ collaboration continues to progress well and we expect additional targets to be selected for entry into AZ's portfolio over the next 12 months. We are also in discussions for additional platform collaborations. And over the course of 2022, we will add another six programs to our pipeline, and we will progress three of our existing drugs into preclinical studies. Next slide, please. In closing, I would like to summarize a few key highlights of our progress. Benevolent AI's platform is scientifically and commercially validated. and is already scaling the identification and development of novel therapeutic candidates with a higher probability of clinical success. This is evidenced by our rich portfolio of over 20 drug programs. Our versatile platform is disease and drug modality agnostic and supports deep experimental capabilities optimized for patient-specific molecular mechanisms. Benevolent AI is backed by an experienced team with the unique ability to combine traditional research practices with AI and other advanced technologies across all stages of drug discovery, clinical trials, and commercialization. Finally, we have a flexible business model with optionality to outlicense drug candidates at all stages of clinical development. Next slide, please. But what is most important about the work we do at Benevolent AI? is the potential of our development platform to scale the discovery of new medicines for thousands of untreated diseases. 
What you see on this last slide is the message that we have illuminated in neon at the entrance of our London headquarters. It inspires and unites us in a shared purpose and it defines and guides all that we do. Every day we push the boundaries of AI and machine learning and unlock the power of biomedical data and decades of scientific research to better understand disease biology and develop more effective treatments for the millions of patients who need them. And with the technology that we have built and the team that we have assembled, we are confident that we will succeed in our mission. Thank you very much.